Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Duncan, and on this channel I talk a lot about fashion, but today we have a very special guest. Hello, uh, I'm Jojo. I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're gonna go through and show all of our shoes that we own. We have a little bit of a different style for shoes, so I think it'll be interesting. first shoes are gonna be moon stars this is like pretty much my everyday pair of shoes that I wear um, what's a little bit special about these ones is that they are a collaboration with studio Nicholson which if you don't know is like a European brand that has a very like minimalist luxury design so what I really like about these is they're like a little bit of a different iteration of an off-white color this one's called the Dove, and I'm like a little bit embarrassed to show because I've worn these so much that they're kind of gnarly looking right now. If you guys like check the other video, we have a he has a video up there. It's called Goodbye to Moonstar. Basically, he has so many different pairs of Moonstar, and they're like different colors, and he wears them every single day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I used to have three pairs, and now I'm down to two. This is the warm gray colorway, which is like a little bit more of a brown, I would say. I haven't worn this one that much, so this would be my next like daily beater, but if you can see, the like sole is completely worn down on these, so they're, they're almost time to go, but if you're looking for just like a simple white sneaker, I can highly recommend Moonstar. Okay, you wanna go? Yeah, um, my, my shoes are even worn, they're so dirty. My, I have this like weird thing. I never, basically I never wash my white sneakers. I think they're meant to be dirty. Anyway, this is kind of my um, everyday wear type of sneakers. It's New Balance 550. And then I got this, I think, uh, salt gray, that kind of. Salt and pepper? No, 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 what's the? I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, great, yeah. I got this color because most of my uh, style and then my clothes are very simple. I'm not very colorful, colorful person. So I think this is literally can go with any jeans, not any jeans, most of jeans, casual, uh, that kind of style. And then shorts, and then sometimes can go with that casual uh, dress too. So I wear them basically every day. The next sneakers I'm gonna show are also both from uh -oh. the same brand. These are 11 by Boris Bidge and Saberi uh, in collaboration with Solomon. He's been doing this collaboration for several years now. I think their first year was 2017, around that time, and they're still like releasing new colorways to this day. So it's been well over five years that they've been just like churning out colorways. So pretty popular. This one was like my all time favorite sneaker colorway from this collaboration. It's called the Dirty Gray, but it's kind of this brown, um, yeah, like dirty color. But basically what makes this collaboration special is that after the shoe is fully constructed, they like dip dye them. And why that's unique is that each like panel and different fabric that's used on this takes to the dye differently. And so you have like so many different shades of brown coming. Then inside of this like top zip part is a low top running sneaker. So they do just feel like running shoes, um, but then they have this kind of badass front zip. The next one I picked up because I was like really obsessed with the shoes coming out of this collaboration were these slides. Which, uh, so <laughs> I hate those, like, they're <laughs> so ugly, they're like... Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I, to be honest, I really don't know what made me purchase these at this point because now I also like think they're pretty ugly. I just think that like the dyeing process achieves like a really unique and cool look, like obviously you get like different kind of dirty looking patterns on the sole, so yeah, it's just a really unique shoe, but they are pretty ugly. Anyway, <laughs> okay, on to your shoe. My shoes are super easy to purchase. <laughs> Nike Air Max, and then, I mean, just white, super uh, plain color. Nothing really special about them. They're like cozy, 
and they have the heel i really like it and i wear them a lot with shorts and then yeah if you like nike i mean i definitely recommended this i like the shape too because i like a little bit round mm. toes that kind of thing that make your feet look a little bit smaller the next shoes are gonna be the loewe ballet runners speaking of a rounded toe these have a really nice toe shape i think these were inspired by vintage running sneakers from the 70s um, so they have like a really flat to the ground silhouette and then kind of this athletic toe detailing one i actually tried these on in store and uh, or a different colorway and i find that the sizing on them is like or the fit is really good they almost feel like a sock like this material is very flexible so Unlike some shoes where maybe you have like a whole inch at the front, mm -hmm. these just fit like perfectly on your foot. Um, also because it has this like a little bit elastic detailing so it really like hugs your foot nicely. Um, and I just think that the materials that Loewe used for this shoe make it like really beautiful. Yeah, it's super soft leather. Yeah, um, that being said, I find this super hard to style. <laughs> Like, I think, I don't know exactly why it is, because it's just kind of like a black shoe, so it should, you know, in theory be easy. But with like the really bright white leather, and then the brown and black, it's just like three distinctive colors. So I think that makes it a little bit harder to pair with like an everyday outfit. It just doesn't go with your style. Yeah. Yeah. So nice to look at, but not as, probably not my best purchase. <laughs> I, but I want to get a different color of that sneaker. Okay, I'm gonna show my hard to style sneaker as well. This um, Gucci one, I got it like two, three years ago. I barely wear them. Looks the a little green bit. green is like maybe a little bit hard. Yeah, I mean maybe just not my style, but I really like it because it gives me a little bit like vintage, um, that kind of vibe. It's a little bit, has this dirt, naturally like a dirty mm. look, so when you, actually get dirty it doesn't look like dirty like i never like wash them yeah or like wipe them they still look like pretty i say new and this leather like on the side pretty cool and inside is also the leather you can see yeah inside is also the leather pad and it's like super soft i really like it but i just don't never have like <laughs> occasion or like the day I want to wear them. So they are basically like, it's barely wear a sneaker, but I really like it. This detail, the double G is so nice. Super cool. The next shoe I'll show is from Boris Bidge and Sperry. This is made in line, so not in collaboration with Solomon. It kind of has that like grotesque and, you know, dirty look that is pretty like characteristic of the Boris Bidge and Sperry brand. One thing is like this leather tongue is so thick, like it's like the thickest, the thickest leather I've ever felt. So just the quality overall is like outstanding, but they're so like stiff that they are not very comfortable overall to walk in. Um, it's, it's another one of those that is like more beautiful to look at and kind of like I'd say more of an art piece than an actual like practical sneaker. I think like sneaker technology has gone so far as far as like making shoes comfortable and this is like doing the reverse of that. This feels like more like handmade and like... Um, it's art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another Gucci shoes I own. I only have two pair of them and then they're like both sneakers and this is with the Disney collaboration. Well, I am not like a huge fan, huge fan of those chunky sneakers. But I love Disney. I'm a Disney girl. So when they first like came out, I said, like, damn, I need to get it, the Disney one. I was like, when I bought them, I was like, I need to wear them to Disneyland. Anyway, yeah. I, Have you done that yet? No, not yet. <laughs> but they're like super cozy. They're like a leather, all around leather, leather outside and inside. And then, yeah, the same thing. If you can see the inside is super nice, like leather. And then they're like super soft, but also the heel thing, oh my God. Adds a lot of height. Adds a lot of height. So it goes super well with like wider, like a little bit mm. wider and like give you like oversized jeans that like looks really good. And also the shoelace is super soft too. They're like, Ooh. yeah. 
it's just overall I think really good quality and I wear, the, wear this like sneaker a lot in winter and then it will be a little bit like hot in the summertime because it's leather but I like the color is like not super white same thing as yours like a little bit creamy that kind of color so it goes with a lot of stuff and then if you're looking for super fun shoes and then I can like recommend it. They have a different collaboration like pattern on the side. They have like the Mickey Mouse, whatever, but I just got this like flash one. I really like it, yeah. The last shoe I have is actually a pair of sandals. These are from Dries Van Noten. This was from the summer, uh, spring summer 2021 collection. So this was like heavily featured in that lookbook video. But he's been doing this kind of like oversized puffy slide for a couple years now, just in like all these different colorways and strap colors. He's there, like the footwear team at Dries is going, like they do so many unique, crazy sh stuff. So, um, but I actually had purchased these with the yellow straps. I'll put a picture on the screen. And unfortunately, when I like the length was correct, but then when I put my foot in, the strap would like come pop popped up when I like flex my foot. So I had to return those and then ended up getting these like six months later. So I do really like the shape. Um, just kind of had to wait for the right one for me. It's just a really fun shoe. And then these are yeah. like so puffy and oversized that it just makes it feel like a little bit dramatic and different. Yeah, I like it. Like I saw him wear last summer and it's just really cool. And then can be casual, also can be formal sometimes. We wear jeans or if you just want to go grocery shopping, you can wear like casual shorts with them and they go really well together. My first boots, like this is underneath boots. The height is uh, just like a little bit below your knee and then I found them in this small market in China. It's like literally $30, but super, super good like quality, like the leather, all around leather. And then one thing I really like them is, you know, so easy to wear because you get a zipper for this long boots. I'll show you guys another one I have over me later. It's just so hard to wear. That just makes you don't want to wear them anymore. But with this, the zipper, like inside, it's just super easy, convenient. And this is if you have like a badass that type of outfit, definitely go with it. Yeah, they're cool. Like a little bit combat yeah. style. $30, seriously. That's crazy. The next shoes I have, which were not $30. <laughs> <laughs> These are from Rick Owens. I, oh my god, they're so heavy. I can only hold one. Yeah, they look scary. So this is called the Beetle Boot. I, I believe the Beetle Bozo boot or something. <laughs> yeah, um, this was right around the time I got this around the time that the Bottega lug boots were like super popular. So this whole like kind of chunky boot was quite a trend. But the Rick Owens ones, he always does his like little bit of exaggeration. So the toe on these ones is like really bulbous or, or quite exaggerated. Um, it gives a really unique look. And I think with this chunky style, you can wear it with a lot of things, obviously like wide leg, but also if you have like skinny jeans and then they can stack up and I like how like high up the shaft goes. Um, so just like a really cool pair of boots for me. I do f like, they are kind of out there because of how huge the sole is. Like this I would say is like two, two and a half inches. Mm -hmm. um, and so I like, but going out any, any like occasion I find that I can wear these, I really love them. And, and the quality on like Rick Owens boots is, is pretty outstanding. The leather's so thick, they just feel like they're gonna last you a pretty long time. Yeah, that boots looks like it'll never like, you know, die. Yeah, they're tough. Live forever. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da, my and, next one. <laughs> oh. And this is a super long over knee boots from Stuart to Westman. They are one, uh, one of their like super famous boots is 5050 and it just makes your like leg look super super skinny. This one is not that model but it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> I, yeah. thought you were gonna... <laughs> I got this on sale, it's still over $300. So their boots are not like cheap. I mean, but they're still really good quality. Yeah, I would super say soft super soft suede. Super soft and then also really makes your leg super long, straight and slim. I mean, I like that kind of leg, so that's why I get it. 
yeah this go with super nice with the like a little bit you know sexy black dress and then also sometimes i wear them over like skinny jeans and that give you a little bit like casual but super modern style one thing like i mentioned before with those shoes is it's hard to wear i mean because they you need to like just damn down here and then and it's still like yeah so for me i need to like roll down all the way down to the hair and then like put my feet and then go up and then that's just one thing i feel for the over knee boots if they have zipper it's like super super nice but if you're like looking for sexy boots i definitely recommend recommend their like brand because it's just like you can never go wrong with their over knee boots they're just super nice all my guys out there <laughs> stuart whiteman <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next pair of boots I have are the Bottega Veneta Chelsea boots. These were like really trendy around 2014-2015, made popular by primarily I would say by Kanye West. This is a pretty regretful purchase for me. I like never I wear never, them. I never seen him wear that. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, they feel quite basic and so I just find that like I would I'm like, oh, those are nice boots. I put them on and then just like, eh. They have this nice stitch detailing on the front, which is kind of characteristic of these Bottega boots. And then the suede is super soft, I feel like. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Quality. Yeah. Oh, also the crepe sole is really comfortable and it doesn't make a lot of noise, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I, I hope they make all the high heels, like no noise. Yeah, like right? Walk. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of annoying. Are you done with boots? Done with boots. So I have Loafer? two loafers to show. I can go first. Okay. I have this um, super, super cool. I really love them. The Uma Wong Ballet Loafer. Mm -hmm. And then I got them last year. I love this color. So I heard they like hand it kind looks a little distressed yeah, and can, can, So each pair, they're like different color. Even with the same like color, diff, each pair will have a little bit different detail because the masters, they're like a hand, like scratch them, whatever. And then they're just like a super, I will say lady type, you know, if you're like wear a lot of long dress and then you are like Uma Wong, like kind of um, style. Chinese style. Yeah. Look at the toe. So cool. Yeah, they're sick. Yeah, I like them. I wear them, sorry, this is so dirty. Because <laughs> I never clean my shoes. I wear them like when I have, you know, those like a little bit French style shirt and then long skirt. When I, also, I wear them with my trench coat, yeah. All right, the next shoes are probably my favorite ones. I love these shoes. So cool. These are the Our Legacy cab sandals. This is from a couple years ago. I think it was spring, summer 2020. I'll double check on that, but they styled these a lot on the runway. It was probably like the primary footwear from that season. And I just could not wait to get them. So I was like checking our legacy like nearly every single day for these. Uh, and they didn't disappoint. They're so cool. I I'm almost like in awe of it when I'm describing it right now. But one thing to note with sizing is I went down two full sizes. So I originally bought these in a 40 just because I typically size down with leather shoes, but they were too big and like with this kind of strap design, it's like you need the right size, otherwise your foot's gonna be moving around a lot. So I had to ship them all the way back to Sweden. Um, and get, But I got the right size, I'm so happy with it. They have like a full Vibram sole, so even though they're like more of a dainty um, sandal with these cutouts, I do feel that they'll last a pretty long time. Yeah, I, I love those. Okay, my last shoes I'm gonna show is my high heel. Woo! This is from Louis Vuitton. I want to get the egg one, but egg one just never goes on sale. We'll find the egg one. Yeah, this is the their like nail polish one. It's super dope. One thing I really wish they can be a real like a nail polish. It's just like you know, oh. and then and you're, maybe we should send them email. Anyway, <laughs> those are um, super nice and like very elegant, but also have this like a fun, super fun element. We wore the last 
year we went to this wedding and a lot of people really like love their oh my god like she's wearing this with a nail polish yeah it's it, cool if you don't know from this season the way they did these like fun heels where this one is the nail polish bottle and then they did a rose and egg rose. Did a lipstick no soap soap oh yeah I mean, I love them all. Yeah. I think this one's probably the most wearable. Exactly. It goes with your dress. With the soap or the egg one, it's like, you know. I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, if you're like a fashion person, like, you can find a way. But, like, I'm not that high fat fashion. I want, I'd rather if I spend that much money to get something, I can wear them a lot. Because from the front it's like really make your um feet are skinny and it looks really elegant and then like go to the side it's like oh my god there's a little you know silver polish like stand out i love them i think this summer i'm, I'm gonna definitely wear them more you can go with a dress jeans basically a lot of stuff because the color is like a black and this I mean, they're like high heel. They're not that comfortable, but I can wear them for three hours. So they're like pretty comfortable, especially when you see the like skinny stripe. A lot of time, a lot of like high heel hurts your like toes, and but this won't. So it's like a super comfortable high heels, I would say. Okay, my next shoes are also from Loewe. These are the Loewe loafers, and they have this fold down heel. So they made this in black, brown, and then this kind of tan, almost a little bit yellowish suede. Since this shoe, a lot of brands have done this fold down detail on a loafer, but I think Loewe was one of the first ones. And it really is like, in my opinion, a genius idea of like high low for fashion. Like you can, you have this like more elegant or dressed up leather shoe and then it kind of has the same vibe as like stepping on the heels of your converse um, so something cool the color is a tiny bit hard to style right now but um yeah still really like them yeah i like those that looks cozy i wear my converse like that way yeah that wraps up the video thank you so much for watching and thank you jojo for joining us of course showing your dope shoes anyway thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video